The tragic and deadly crash happened in Orange early this morning. There were seven victims in all. Many of them were young. The car came to rest where Orange Olive Road and Glassell Streets come together north of Taft, just near the railroad tracks. Police say the car was seen speeding at more than 100 miles an hour before crashing into a light pole here and catching fire. Those seven people were inside that five-seater car not wearing seatbelts. And police believe some were under the influence. They found a can of nitrous oxide and balloons at the scene, which can be used to get high. Police say the 19-year-old driver, Azari Fuller, is in a coma, but he is expected to survive. A witness described what they saw. The car, when I came upon it, it was on its side. Uh, flames were, were blazing in the air. Smoke, black smoke everywhere. Uh, the scent of burning metal and rubber and all that was just everywhere. And tragically, a loss of life, and many more lives will be impacted because of this tragic incident. 26 year old Gustavo Castro from Garden Grove and a teenage girl, as well as a teenage boy, were all killed in that crash. Three others are in critical condition, and the fourth has moderate injuries. If you have any information about this crash, you are asked to call Orange Police.